host dad gets really intense about it. He'll like grab a rock and like. <laughs> because um, it kind of starts off like as a blog, a blog, a vlog. Um, I tried to make a video like, was it last week or the week before? I don't know, but um, it didn't happen. And then I ended up making it today, but then my phone glitched, so it looked like it didn't record, but it actually did record. So then we recorded it again, but then I was off screen. <laughs> but then when I got home and looked at my phone, it did record. I don't know, it was a weird glitch. Um, so, I think this is a video about sounds in Khmer or sounds that people use in Cambodia. Um, but, they, you know, there's some other things thrown in there, so. Hi, so I have some free time this afternoon. So I am gonna head to campus and my neighbor kid is singing. He's he's so sweet. He's like swinging back and forth in the hammock just singing to himself. It's adorable. Okay, anyway, I'm bringing this puzzle and to the campus and seeing if maybe some students, if they have free time and they wanna start to put it together with me, we'll see. Um, and then I'm gonna bring my slack line and my laptop. Hi! <laughs> he's looking at me now. Oh, he stopped singing. Uh, bring my laptop and get some work done and maybe um, do some filming of whatever video this is going to become. Um, but my neighbor kid's currently coming over so I'm going to go talk to him. Alright, here we go. Ta. I lied, it's actually kind of hot out here, of course. I thought, I thought it was a little cooler, but that was just wishful thinking, I guess. Uh, looks like we have a wedding or a funeral happening. Are they putting it up or tearing it down? I think they're putting it up. Trying to just make a video, something really quick about um, just different sounds that I've noticed people making in Khmer. Let me see if I can think of any. Hold on, let me ask my students. Hi, I am making a YouTube video. I'm for a video from about YouTube. Ampi, some lang, napiyak mai. Some lang doy, ah, uh, yi, 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm going home now because it is getting late and I'm gonna go eat. So they're finishing up some of the puzzle and we're gonna leave it there for tomorrow morning and then Ora is putting the slack line away for me. Ready? This is Ratanak, my uh, my counterpart. He is awesome and so he's gonna help me with this video today. Last minute, so thank you for being with us here today, Ratanak. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the first one is, in English we would say like, surprise or boo or peekaboo, but in Khmer they say, umwa'e, umwa'e, with babies you use a lot. <laughs> and then the next one is if you drop something or you run into something and we have a lot of words in English we'd say like ah or oh no uh oh or oops I'm fine oh oh or ayah 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 if we hurt ourselves, uh, we usually say ouch or owie, and then it's my oi, 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 oi. When we call someone in English, I think usually we just say like the person's name, or we'd say like hey, hey Jade, hey Ratanak. But in Khmer, the same. You can say hey, hey, hey. But if you call someone. Hey. Like to dinner, like Ratanak oi? Oi Ratanak! Oi! If you can't hear someone, sometimes in English we'll say like, huh? But it's more of like a lower, huh? But a lot of times here, it'll be more in the back of the mouth. Huh? Yeah, huh? 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 Or if you don't, like sometimes if you don't believe me, like it just, I say something that he's just like, really? Yeah. Or what? Huh? Huh? Like in the back of, of the mouth. Then, huh? Then huh. huh. Any, okay, um, the sound that you make when you're annoyed. Annoyed. Oi. Yeah. Like maybe you like. So tired. Or, con, or tired. Oi. Oh. 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 Or sometimes, like, my host parents will be talking and, like, my dad will be saying something that my mom really doesn't agree with. And so the whole time she'll just be like, oh. I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> okay, this one, I don't really know when it's used. It's like, ye? Ah, ye? <laughs> when do you use it, that? Oh, when I, you feel uh, confused of something. Like that. Yes, it's a big. 
Okay. We are giving the test at the primary school. So this kid was saying like that it was a different name than the teacher, and then the kid just goes, he goes, ee, can you tell how to? So like, what would it be then? Just oh. like, ee, yeah. Mm, many, many. many uses. Many uses for ee. Um, okay, and then if you make a mistake, so this happens a lot with our students. They'll be like talking in English and they'll say something wrong and they realize it and they'll be talking in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they just like yeah in the middle huh and then like go back and fix what they're saying um okay chewing a dog so usually in America we just say no or get to chew a dog but here oi. Say, oi. 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 Check. Which, check. Oh, check. Oh, funny story about that. My host mom always says that to our dogs, and I hear it from across the house, and I think she's saying my name. And so I'm always like, Dad, like, what? You're calling me? And they make fun of me, but she's really just yelling at the dog. Okay, how do you shoe a cow? You see a cow that comes on your ha into your house? So different from dog. A dog is check. Chet, 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 and a cow is. I don't know how my dad used to shoot cows because we had cows when I was growing up in America, but I can't remember what sound he made. I don't know. Okay, and the next one is. If you're like listing things and you want to kind of say like, and so on, maybe. And you have to go kind of up with your... Oh, yes. Hi, and then hi na is for exclamation to. So, I can't do it. So, taumun means I'm going now. But hi na adds like a little bit of emphasis to it. Or like... If something is delicious, it's chingang. Mm -hmm. But if you want to say it's extra delicious, you say chingang. Mm -hmm. Lastly, this is not a sound, but mm -hmm. it is something that I've noticed, and it is um, with children, like small babies or children. I instead of their parents kissing them, I've noticed them. They do like a little like sniff thing. Um, they like in their neck. It's really cute. Nani. Kanan. Kanan. This baby is so kanan. So it's a verb and it's an adjective. Kanan. So the act of kananing someone for the second time. Did we miss anything? Okay, that's it. Um, thank you again for the second time. Awesome Some. teamwork. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.